Today we shall see how to use conditional logic to make decisions using jQuery. For more notes like relational operators, conditional operators, please visit the link below in the description section of this YouTube video. For this video, we shall take two input box and a button wherein user need to enter a number each once the and once the user clicks on the button division between these two numbers has to take place and as we all know division by zero results in in infinity and we need to handle that situation using conditional logic that is if else statement we have a span here to for for the purpose of displaying the message that is the result of division now once the document is ready we call an anonymous function inside that we check whether the user has clicked the button select the button dot call the click method of jquery again inside that call an anonymous function inside which we do our calculations that is to get the numbers input by the user assign it to local variables here that is variable number one and variable number two and then just divide it while echoing it to the user select the span dot html that is insert the result inside the span tag present in our html document it's division of let's even display what the user has entered so division of number one and number two is uh, i'll do here number one plus number two inside a separate bracket instead of taking another variable assigning the result to it we could do even like this okay this is division not addition so let's see the output now on the browser let's take 10 and 2 here well it's flashing see the url bar there what we need to do is control the button the forms submit it's trying to redirect to some other page we need to control it by writing form submit to false inside that call an anonymous function and return false that's it which means the form shouldn't redirect to some some other pages once the user hits the submit button that's it now take 10 right okay 10 and 2 division of 10 and 2 is 5 which is perfect what if the user gives 10 and 0 it's infinite and we need to tell that user shouldn't give 0 that is division by 0 is not allowed which is more friendly to a um, person who is not more towards mathematics i'll see this is the conditional logic the if else statements if number two is zero then let me display a message inside the same span tag i'll remove this entire thing and tell division by zero is not allowed else if 
number 2 is not 0 then let this statement the first set statement be executed the last statement selecting the form that executes each time and then 0 okay, division by 0 is not allowed when i type some numbers it executes the code inside the else block actually we need to put the statements inside the parenthesis that is flower bracket but we don't do it here because there is only single statement when there is single statement brackets are optional so the syntax if inside the bracket that is parenthesis we give the condition if that is true it executes the statements inside if statement or else if else condition if that is true it executes the statements inside if else if nothing is true then else block will be executed if need not be followed by else or if else if can be written independently too but else there can be more than one if else statements inside a program for more notes please visit technotip.com and use our search bar search bar to search for if else conditional logic decision making syntax on technotip.com for more notes about conditional logic logic statements and relational operators please visit technotip.com please share this video with your friends on facebook twitter google plus linkedin etc and and also subscribe to our blog technotip.com and our youtube channel and please like this video on youtube